What's up everyone, welcome to Razel Realm, the channel where we break down the latest and hottest movies in Hollywood. Today we're going to be talking about the movie Reality. As usual, the first section of this review is going to be a non-spoiler, so it's totally safe for any of you guys who haven't watched this film and just want to know if it's truly worth your time or not. After that, we'll dive into the spoilers. Alright, if you're ready, it's time to strap in, let's get started. Reality is a 2023 political thriller film directed by Tina Satter and starring Euphoria's Sydney Sweeney in the role of reality winner. A real name, by the way. A former NSA translator and U.S. Air Force veteran who was sent to prison for leaking sensitive intelligence data to Russia. This film is entirely based on the FBI transcripts of the conversations happening during the 2017 home raid and questioning at Reality's home in Augusta, Georgia. Every dialogue in the movie, every pause, every random distraction is all based on real audio recordings of the day. Pretty interesting gimmick, I must say. Reality begins just as a couple of FBI agents arrive at Reality's doorstep with a search warrant. From there, it depicts the beat-by-beat -beat moments Reality is investigated for her alleged involvement in leaking a secret NSA document related to Russia's hacking scandal in 2016's presidential election, starting from a light-hearted chatter with the FBI agents about her pets, all the way to the genuine interrogation that leads to her arrest. The play-like structure means the weight of the film lies mostly on the performances, and it did not disappoint. Sydney Sweeney as reality anchors this movie with such a raw performance. She has chameleon-like ability to be childlike, terrified, and then devious at the bat of an eye. Watching her stripped-down performance, not literally, okay? This is not euphoria. You just can't help but think it's no wonder she's one of the generation's best actresses. The cinema veered photography gives the film a very realistic look, documentary-like almost. The pacing of the first half is kind of draggy, but it picks up with a very thrilling second half. You always want your film to get better as it goes along, not the other way around. The directing is very minimalistic, but in that way, your focus goes to the most focal point, which is the performance. I think in that sense, the film achieves the goal. Other than that, the most unique aspect is its commitment to use the FBI transcripts verbatim. This mostly works, but there are times when it hinders the film. More on that in the spoiler section. Sleek, well-acted, and uniquely told, the film is an okay true crime drama elevated by Sweeney tour de force performance. Alright folks, consider this your spoiler warning. We're about to journey into spoiler territory for reality, so if you haven't seen it yet and want to experience all the twists and turns firsthand, now's the time to hit pause, catch the film, and then come back to join us for the foiler spilled discussion. From the start, when a title card tells you that all of the dialogues in the film are real, you can't help but be intrigued. The literal transposition first comes really apparent to me when the barking sound of reality's dog Mickey makes it into the film, proven by real 911 call style audio static appearing on the screen. At one point, one of the FBI agents peeks through the room where reality is, being grilled to ask for a toothpick, and just immediately goes back out. A random comical moment that underscores the film's commitment in bringing everything from the transcript verbatim. But the comical moment stops there, because investigations really turn intense after that. As the questions start getting more incriminating, dialogues with redicated portions are cut off mid-sentence instead of being reworked to fill in the blanks. Also, from time to time, they will show actual recordings recordings, footage, and reality social media track records to correlate with the event unfolding on screen. This is all a pretty amusing gimmick, though it makes you realize why people in movies don't usually talk like they do in real life. Real people's dialogues have a lot of pauses, uh or um, and rambles that go nowhere. As humans do, you often go off topic when asked about a different thing. At many points in the film, reality does that. While I get the intention, the film, particularly in the first half, becomes tedious because it allows real sequence of events. Indeed, it depicts how real investigations must have played out all the time, but for a movie, you've just gotta edit some stuff. Thankfully, the acting saves it. Sydney Sweeney is just captivating to watch. She's got a screen presence, vulnerable but really intriguing. With her gestures and expressions, she's able to project the uncertainty, nervousness, and desperation her character feels in equal aplomb. One all-too-relatable moment is when reality flubs a date she's supposed to remember and just breaks down trying to figure it out in her mind with relation to other schedules. All too real right there. The main FBI investigator also deserves kudos for nailing down an officer who's so evidently apologetic for pushing down on a vulnerable subject. 
Him trying to offset his toughness on reality with some sympathy comes across really genuine, and you could totally emphasize with him. By the way, the characters all look very true to life. The yellow polo shirt agent with the swagger, the toothpick asking guy, looks like every agent you see on the news. It almost feels like you're watching a true crime documentary. Indeed, it plays like a true crime with a situation that seems ordinary on the outset gradually becoming more and more twisted. The thriller style editing adds to the vibe, with the haunt music and the imagery of reality as an underdog being cornered by three big dudes bearing down on her with accusations. Ultimately, reality's lie is exposed. She prints a classified document by folding it in half and slipped it inside her pantyhose before mailing it out to an online publication. After this revelation, the eradicated parts became more and more frequent. As such, audiences are never clued in on her true motives and the circumstances that lead to her committing the crime. All we see is Sweeney flexing her acting talent and the brilliant Mizen scene between the three people inside the room, always shifting and circling around each other. What we know is the tragic life of a misguided patriotic citizen who, unhappy about the country's politics, takes it out in a way that goes so catastrophically out of control. In just a few hours, a brilliant ordinary citizen turns into a criminal for trying to bring the truth out to the American public. Reality sentencing has been criticized by some as an attempt to silence whistleblowers. With its unique structure, the film never defends nor attacks reality, but the ending raises some interesting questions about patriotism, surveillance, and the freedom of information. And there it is. That's our wrap on the movie Reality. If you enjoyed the deep dive, don't forget to give a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments down below. Have you seen the film? What were your favorite moments or takeaways? Let's keep this conversation alive. For more films and breakdowns, make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for our next cinematic adventure. Thanks for joining me today, and until next time, stay real.